Do one, yeah. From the 10th annual Buford International Film Festival, Justin Roberts joins us now. Uh, not the typical, your typical filmmaker. You started, uh, you have a di very different background. Yes, uh, I was an Army chaplain before. Mm -hmm. I was actually an Army chaplain while I was filming this. Right. And so I was in Afghanistan. And so this is the first feature film by an active duty soldier. Mm -hmm. And the, and the, uh, the film is, if we might was, was say it, No Greater Love. Yes. And you're here to receive the Santini Award. I am. And how does that feel? I, it feels it's not it's very to given out twice. <laughs> yes. And you're being presented it by the, the, the first winner. So. Yes, yes. And Jonathan Flora, and who's a former 82nd Airborne mm -hmm. guy himself. And I was 101st. Um, it's humbling. I mean, and so it's... I think it's on behalf, really, of the film and the, the soldiers who are featured in it. Mm -hmm. how, did, how did it come about? How did you manage to do this on active duty? Well, and I asked my commander if I could carry a camera, since mm -hmm. chaplains can't carry weapons. Mm -hmm. And he's like, sure, just don't get shot. Yeah. yeah. So, Good advice. Uh, but I also had a really amazing first sergeant who was uh, just a phenomenal mentor of mine. And he suggested that I go out with each unit at least once on a patrol if I wanted to connect as a chaplain. And so that's what this is for me, was just going out and connecting and then trying to capture just some elements of this war, you know, mm -hmm. when I wasn't doing some of the chaplain stuff. What's, what sort of reaction have you gotten from, from audiences so far? Uh, it's, this is a difficult film. Mm -hmm. This is the war. Right. And there's no way to soften that or filter that. And so this is what they're reacting to a lot of times is just seeing the combat, seeing the trauma is tragic, but also seeing these stories of selfless love and mm -hmm. sacrifice. I think that... Yeah, you mentioned that that's what it's all about, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, this is understanding the people behind the uniforms and what's driving them to commit those acts of sacrifice and valor. And we need to understand that as a country if we're going to welcome them home. Mm -hmm. And help them. This is a military town. Uh, as we, it, We're sitting here just mere minutes before uh, mm -hmm. this film unspools here. Uh, if they do that anymore, <laughs> but and, and, a, and, a, and a lot of veterans in yeah. line up. This is standing room only. Uh, yes. it's, it's, it's poised to set another house record. Uh, that has to be encouraging. Oh, very. And the thing is, I just got done doing an event with a bunch of veterans. Uh, we had lunch together. And so you have guys from Vietnam, Korea, um, who are here to share this film with us. And that's deeply humbling. Is this, is this a, a film that can be used uh, to, to help people deal with the trauma of combat? I think so. I mean, it's, it's a conversation. Mm -hmm. I mean, these are just these guys' experiences. So I think that they can help people to see how other people, I mean, pe other veterans who have been through like circumstances, to understand how some other guys have gone through it, what, what they're processing, and how they're moving towards hope. What do you do next after this film? After this film, we're taking a long nap, <laughs> taking vacation. I don't know. I mean, I'm, I'm committed to helping veterans come home. That's my passion. And so I'm going to continue working towards that. All right. The film is No Greater Love. Watch for it. Get more at BufordFilmFestival.com and LocalTVWeekly.com.